In this problem, we're told to find the magnitude of the force plus 25 microcoulomb charge exerts on a 2.5 millicoulomb charge 28 centimeters away. Right, so we have these two particles. One's 25 microcoulombs, one's uh, 2.5 millicoulombs, right? And we're basically trying to find the magnitude of the force that it's going to be exerting, right? So how do we do this? So the formula you use to solve for the magnitude of force, right, F sub C, is equal to K, which is a constant, multiplied by Q1 times Q2 all over R squared. So what is R? So R is basically the distance between the two particles. Q1 and Q2 are basically the charge of both your particles. And then what K is... Right, k is just a constant, so k is going to be the same, it's just a number you have to memorize. And so what a k equals is 8.988 times 10 to the 9 uh, newton meters squared over coulomb squared. Right, so that's just k, right, so k is just a constant, we know what that is, we just have to plug it in. Radius, and then we got, we basically, what we need to do is when you solve this, they need to be in coulombs. So this is in micro, or millicoulombs, this is in micro, so what we have to do is convert them into just normal coulombs when we solve this. Right, and then the radius has to be in meters. So let's just start with the radius. So the radius is equal to 28 centimeters. And so the radius is this, uh, the distance between the two particles. So 28 centimeters is 0.28 meters, right? Just divide by 100. And so now what we gotta do is convert uh, charge one and charge two into the correct units. So Q1, let's say Q1 is uh, this one right here. So 25 uh, microcoulombs, right? So we gotta convert to coulombs. And basically, there's a million microcoulombs for every one coulomb. So if you want to convert, right, one million microcoulombs uh, for every one coulomb, right? So basically, just divide by uh, one million, basically. And when you do that, you get 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs. Or what you can do is basically just take your number when it's micro like this, 25, and then just add 10 to the minus 6. Uh, coulombs, right? So you can use either of these. They're the same thing, right? Uh, and then for Q2, which is the charge of the second particle, this one is 2.5 uh, millicoulombs, right? And for this one, there's a thousand millicoulombs for every one coulomb. So just divide by a thousand. 2.5 divided by a thousand is just 2.5 times 10 to the minus three coulombs, right? So for this one, you can just add a, uh, times 10 to the minus three uh, for micro 10 times 10 to the minus six. But yeah, so now we've got these in the correct units. They're both in coulombs, so we can just plug in. So plugging this in, F sub C is equal to K. So I'm not going to write what K is. Just keep in mind what K is, though. So K, plugging in charge 1. Charge 1 is uh, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs, right? You can use this one, 25 times 10 to the minus 6. They're the same thing. Multiply by Q2, which is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3. Right, and then we divide this by the radius squared. And so the radius is just 0.28. So 0.28 squared, and then k, right? k is right here. And when you plug this in, right, so do k times this times this divided by this. And when you do that, you're going to get it's equal to 7165.178 and so on. I'm just going to round to about 7200. So 7200, and then this is just going to be equal to about a 7.2 times 10 to the 3. Uh, newtons, right? Just put it in scientific notation. So you can use whatever answer you want. Keep my force is measured in newtons. So these are basically going to be your answers, right? You can choose however you want to write it. But essentially, this will be your answer. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.